This is the great emptying of the mind that is required for healing to occur. As we practiced yesterday, all the meaning of all the images, of all the appearances, is given solely by the ego, which generated a, a world of opposites, a world of multiplicity, a world of many images that each seems to have an existence in and of itself as a separate object. The mind needs to heal and to know the meaning of love, to know itself as love, a creation of divine love. And in order to heal, I must begin to be open to the idea that I do not understand anything I perceive. I cannot be open to a new perception of everything I perceive unless I am willing to let go of all past associations. As the exercise said, it's designed to help clear the mind of all past associations. The basic building blocks of this illusory world. And this is why it's so important to be all-inclusive. As you glance around at the world, opening wide, letting go of all understandings that weren't really understandings at all. They were just past associations. They were actually blocks to Christ's vision. Now the ego may say that this lesson seems to be pointing to gullibility. Like, if you truly release everything that you seem to understand about this world of time and space, if you release this linear perception that you would be gullible and therefore vulnerable. Yet it's actually releasing these false meanings that brings the mind back to its true state of peace and invulnerability, strength, certainty. This is very precious. Because all these false associations from the past have never brought a feeling of peace or strength or stability. Except you become as little children, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And the emphasis of this teaching from Jesus, from the Bible, is that little children, infants, are completely dependent on their parents for their very life. And likewise, 
the sleeping mind must learn to be completely dependent on the Holy Spirit, on the Holy Spirit's instructions, on the Holy Spirit's presence, to know its life, to wake up to eternal life. So this is not a small lesson today. This lesson is very important in clearing away the debris of what the sleeping mind thinks it already knows. But it's clueless to have a truly happy, joyful, flowing day. Sink into this cluelessness and be cared for lovingly by the Holy Spirit and feel the result, a carefree life of listening and loving. Remember today's lesson as you move through the day. I do not understand anything I see.